What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be unboxing and installing my new XP Pen Star G640 Pen Tablet. This video is sponsored, so real quick let's hear a word from them, DB Line. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit dbline at dbline.equid.com. You can also find dbline on Instagram at dblinemerch. Also on Facebook at dblinemerchandise. All right guys, so we're back. We're gonna be unboxing the Star G640 XP Pen tablet. This particular model is the six inches by four inches drawing area. Um, the pressure sensitivity is 8,192 levels. It is a battery-free pen stylus, which is really cool. That means you don't have to worry about it dying on you and you don't have to charge it, so that's good. It's a regular USB. The resolution is 5,080 lines per inch, and this works for both Windows and Mac. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it and tear open the plastic. Now, I'll be using this with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator for the designing of my shirts for DBLine and other little projects. Now make sure you subscribe to my channel because as I'm learning this uh, pen tablet with the programs of my choice, um, Illustrator and Photoshop, as I'm learning I'm gonna come up with videos and tutorials for you guys because sometimes other people might have videos and maybe maybe you just can't learn from them or or maybe you can but I thought I'd share my way of learning things as well so here we go it's a nice little box it's in all right working time Monday to Friday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. that must be the uh, the company for serve uh, for customer support so right away we have the tablet and it's styrofoam. Okay. So this is, um, I was expecting probably something just like this because the way I draw, um, I need something, I don't want, I, I saw their smaller model and I that might be too small. It's $10 cheaper. This is $10 more, um, $30 on Amazon. And I think this would be the right, the right size for me. And also, if you're looking to purchase this specific item, I have my Amazon affiliate link down below in the description where you can purchase it directly. All right, so let's tear off this film. Okay, so it's got a nice all black color surface. It's really smooth. It's got the rubber feet on the bottom. Let's test out these rubber feet real quick. Okay, yeah. If I'm drawing, it's not gonna move around on me. That's what, it, what we want. All right, what else is in this box? All right, so here's our USB cable, which needs to stay connected to our computer or laptop. It is not wireless. I'd have a, I'd have some reluctancy with a wireless tablet, anyways. Um, there, there's probably some on the market, but I'm just, I'd just be worried about latency. All right, so this this USB cable seems to be about about five feet, which is good. Okay, so that's the USB cable. Here is a little envelope of everything else. So we've got some documentation. Let's go over this real quick. Let's see, we've got our download drivers card. We're gonna need this because uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install it for a Mac computer. This is our warranty card. We'll definitely have to take a look at that. This is our quick start guide for the graphic pen tablet. Okay. And this is from XP Pen saying thank you for supporting and buying our product. All right, so then here we have the pen. Now I was worried about the pen stylus being too thin or narrow. Um, when I'm drawing, I like a uh, like I use a mechanical pencil for my regular drawing. But as far as pens, 
I kind of want them to be bulky in my hand, um, so I feel like it's... How do I open this? Oh, there we go. So I have a good grip on the pen or pencil. I feel like if it's too narrow, it'll, I'll be holding it too tight or something, and then it might slip out of my grasp. Alright, so taking a look at this pen, it's got the two buttons here. It's really clicky and feels responsive. And then here's we have our nib, our tip. All right, so then also we have, this comes with 20 extra pen tip nibs. I guess these things, this is my first time ever using one of these pen tablets. So um, it's, it's long overdue. I've been, I've been pondering the, over these over time off and on for about probably 10 plus years when I first found out about digital art. But these, um, but these nibs, I guess they wear out over time. So I guess I'll find out over use <laughs> how soon I'll be replacing those. And it comes with a handy dandy nib replacement tool. Kind of reminiscent of the uh, the tool and the nibs on my Samsung Note 10 Plus on the pen of uh, the Note 10. So yeah, so there we go. So we're gonna keep all these boxes for our own records and all these packaging. And I'll go ahead and put those in there. I'll go ahead and throw away the film. Put all the cards in there for now. So that's pretty much everything that's in the box. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into installing this pen tablet on my MacBook Pro laptop. Okay, so now opening up the quick start guide for the Star G640, we need to install the drivers. So it says here, connect the XP pen to your computer, which we have already done. So step five, it says download the latest driver version from the XP pen website, www.xp-pen.com. It says make sure that your login account is administrator authority and extract the zip file contents before running the executable file or the package file package file for Mac. So we're going to go to support, download, select product category. Oh, wants me to accept cookies. Sure, I like cookies. So we're going to scroll down and you know what? I'm just gonna type here, G640. Search. There it is, star G640 sketch. So here, we're going to scroll down and go to the Apple section. And here we go, I have Mojave. So I'm going to download their la latest driver for this. And it's saving as a zip file. All right, save. We're gonna go ahead and open the zip file, decompress it. There we go, double click. And it has some more instructions. Um, we, I don't have Catalina, but I do have Mojave. So I'm gonna take a look at these Mojave setup instructions first. It says, please go to Finder, Preferences, and Sidebar. On the Sidebar tab, please make sure your Macintosh hard drive, hard disk is enabled. Step three, please visit the XP Pen website and download the most recent driver, which I did. Open Launchpad and find Pen Tablet Setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the .dmg installation file. I'm gonna go ahead and drag pen tablet into applications. Okay. Okay, so the pen tablet setting automatically popped up the control panel for it. But it says here that we want to add it to our security and privacy settings. So go ahead and open up system preferences. Click on security and privacy. Go ahead and hit your padlock and type in your password. That way we can allow our computer to control uh, the pen tablet setting. If you scroll down here, you're not going to see it. So you're going to want to add it by hitting the plus sign. And then basically go to applications and then go to the pen tablet folder and then select pen tablet setting, hit open. And now we've added it and it is checkmarked. So now we can go ahead and lock that back up, close out 
of security and privacy and system preferences. So looking at the rest of the instructions following that and playing with the pen, it's already being detected and the, and the pen tablet setting is already up and running. So if you, if you hover just over the tablet, not touching it, you're actually moving the mouse cursor. When you press down with the stylus, you've now selecting you are now selecting things so if you if you hover just over the tablet not touching it you're actually moving the mouse cursor when you press down with the stylus you've now selecting you are now selecting things so i'm going to hover over the pen tablet setting window press down select it so it's pretty much it's pretty much already in control i don't see myself having to do anything else and as I'm hovering over the pen tablet, going over the areas that the six by four inch area, work area, it is pretty much drawing around the entire perimeter of my screen. So I guess this six inch by four inch work area translate, translates to your actual display of your computer. So just imagine the four corners here being, and this whole rectangle being your screen. So to further test out that this pen tablet is working correctly, let's open up Adobe Photoshop. Just open up a document of any sort. Now go ahead and select a drawing tool. So I'm just going to choose paintbrush, change my, my tip size, and there we go. Nice. So everything seems to be working. If you press, now I'm pressing down on the button closest to the, to the nib, and it brings up because I'm in paintbrush, it is bringing up the control panel and settings of the brush settings. I don't make them go away. Okay, so to make them go away, you just simply press down on the stylus elsewhere on the screen. So I, I press the button, and then I just press down on the pen, and it goes away. And that's the end of this unboxing and installation video for the XP Pen Star G640 Pen Tablet. Like I said, if you're looking to purchase this, please, I'd appreciate you clicking directly on my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. That way it helps me out as well. Um, please give this video a like, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell. Because like I said, um, as I'm learning how to use this with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, we can learn together and I'll make tutorial videos for you guys. Alright guys, I'm DJ Avionics. See you next time.